Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your ballet blonde, fantasy dress. I'm Cognac Bulleling, and we are here, and I am here with the founder of the Long Island Bulldog Rescue, and she's going to introduce herself and tell us what this event is really all about. Okay, my name is Lorette Richen, and I started Long Island Bulldog Rescue 16 years ago when there were just very few bulldogs available, and I did see that there was a need at that time for rescue. At that time, we had 13 bulldogs. Last year we had 386 bulldogs. That's a lot. It's That's a lot of amazing. Bulldogs. Yeah. And it's because they become very popular, <laughs> and too popular, and people buy them and they have no idea how to care for them. And these dogs cannot be bred casually, so you mustn't buy them from a puppy store or on the internet or any other thing except a really wonderful good breeder. And you're going to have to wait for a puppy. Oh, really? You shouldn't buy any dog. You really should no buy a dog from a no. breeder, really. Exactly. You should buy a dog from, well, if you don't rescue a bulldog, then if you're going to buy a puppy, because people, there is a place in the world people want puppies, but they have to go to a good breeder. Or, and of course, rescue, because there's always a need. Because even when there are fewer bulldogs, things happen to people in their lives. They have, they die, they go to nursing homes, they get transferred overseas, they go to war. There's always something. So you should come to us for a bulldog. You are very passionate about this. What, the whole idea of creating this foundation was really based on the fact that there are so few bulldogs around when you first started it. Well, that's true, but what happened was I got a bulldog puppy. I and see. Now we're getting to the real story. The real story was I traded in my ex-husband for a bulldog, but anyway, that's a whole other story. That's funny. Right, but um, after that, I became involved with the Long Island Bulldog Club, and I, didn't, I realized I had no, not the temperament to breed them but I wanted to do something for the breed. And they, there were very few, comparatively, but they still needed rescuing. And that's how I started. And now it's, the, it's Long Island Bulldog Rescue. We cover nine states now. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, that's a lot. And you, not just that, but you have Beth Stern on your side. Yes, she's wonderful. She's a board member and uh, has been with us for quite a while. And she's a wonderful person. She but, certainly is. Uh, I know her from the Hamptons. She's right. lovely. Just the real deal. Truly good Doesn't person. she own bulldogs? She owns she bulldogs. She a bulldog. That's how I met her. She, they got a bulldog from someone I knew. Also, I believe Ice T and Coco, I yes. think, have bulldogs yes. too. They do, and they usually come to this event, but since she gave birth, I think about two weeks ago. Yes, she gave yet. birth. Next year, the three of them will be here, and the dogs. And the dogs. Well, that's yeah. wonderful. I'm yeah. so happy to hear that you're a good, great success, and it's in all these states, not just Long Island, right. where I'm from and you're from, right. but it's it, the reach now is begin, becoming yes. 
expanding and becoming larger and larger, and that's so wonderful that we're bringing awareness about that. I would love for you to tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about the Long Island Bulldog Rescue Foundation. What is the website? The website is longislandbulldogrescue.org, and you can leave us a message there. And we also need foster homes. Foster homes are very important, very important, especially on Long Island. Okay. Well, thank you so well, thank you. much. Give me a kiss. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Long Island Bulldog, Bulldog, Rescue. Bulldog Rescue Foundation's event this season, and I'm here with a very prominent supporter of this event. Introduce yourself to the camera. My name is Shawnee Jernigan, and I'm a volunteer with Long Island Bulldog Rescue. Tell my audience why you are involved with this organization. Uh, well, I have two English Bulldogs of my own, and they they require a lot of, they have a lot of health problems, and a lot of people tend to be attracted to the dogs because they're so cute, and then once they realize that some of them, if they got them through, you know, breeders that weren't as reputable as you would like, they'll have a lot of health problems, and they'll surrender them, and so organizations like Long Island Bulldog Rescue will take them in, and we help get them healthy and help and we rehome them and at the same time we also educate people that you know if you want to go to you know get a puppy it's okay just do your um, homework and get a, a good breeder and that's what you did obviously that's what I do. and I, I help with the fundraisers um, we do this is our biggest one every year that you know and this is how we are able to help all the dogs now uh, do you have do you work in I mean, do you do something totally separate from yeah, this? I, I actually work for Microsoft, so, I mean, and I, I stumbled across Long Island Bulldog Rescue um, on Facebook, actually, after I got my Wow, that's important to know because anybody that has a bulldog anywhere in the world, in the country, Long Island, anywhere, it's very important that we all find out how we can help this breed, and because and, yeah. it's a difficult breed to actually even from what I've heard. Yeah, people people um, try and, and they, they'll try and take different breeds and kind of mix them with a bulldog because they want like smaller bulldogs or, you know, and, and, and so... It doesn't work. It doesn't work, no. It, and it's not good. But, I mean, like I said, I would have never even known about... I, I went on Facebook because I got um, a bulldog named Henry Wrinkler. And oh, it's hysterical. I love it. Henry Wrinkler. So I got him, and he is allergic to everything, and I didn't know what to do, you know. And so I started looking on Facebook, and I, I, I kind of got involved with a couple of uh, rescues and saw kind of the ugly side of rescue, and then I stumbled across um, Long Island Bulldog Rescue, and they're, they're amazing people. I don't even, you know, I don't live in Long Island, but I, I drive here to visit Lorette and help her with the dogs anytime I can, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, but if we want to find out about you as a bulldog rescue animal lover do you have a facebook page can we follow you um, you can actually look for henry with an i wrinkler and it's R henry wrinkler shawnee jernigan we share a facebook page and a twitter page yeah, we have lots of followers even well thank you so much for talking to me and being a big supporter thank you thank you for being here Back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and I'm here with another supporter, and she's going to introduce herself to the camera. Hi, my name is Allison. Allison, tell, tell your full name, Allison. Allison Smith. Allison Smith, tell me why you are such a big supporter of this foundation. I have a nine-year-old bulldog. I am obsessed with her. I'm in love with her. And anything that could benefit a bulldog, I will do and be there for them. I think this rescue fundraiser is just the greatest thing in the world. Bulldogs are all heart. I love them. They are the kindest, sweetest animals on the planet. They really, truly are. 
I just want you to love and kiss them and hug them all the time. I swear to God, I say we are our own cult, our Bulldog people, because we get each other. We understand how special they are, and I, I really, I, I, I am madly in love with her. I really am. I, I one day I want to have like a farm of them. I honestly say one day I will do that, and I want to be part of this organization as much as I can. I'm going to get as much well, information. You're here tonight, and that's a big thing. But tell my audience. Uh, how many years have you had your bulldog? My dog is Angelina, and I've had her for nine years. And oh, wow, a long time. Yeah. She's very high maintenance. I mean, I'm after that like old. You, you're high maintenance, <laughs> yes. so I can yes. tell. <laughs> yes. Um, but I live at the vet. I should have a cot there. But again, she's worth every cent. You're, she's so lucky she has you. It's not even funny. I love. I'm tell my audience the, where can we follow you on Facebook? Uh, I'm not on Facebook, um, but I. My friend is, and I go through her. Um, do you want me to get her email or her Facebook account? Facebook. Um, I don't have Facebook, but I do go through her. Gail, what's your Facebook account? My Facebook. Yes. G A I L M U L L E R Y. That's it. Gail Mullery, and she's right on Facebook, and um, she follows, she gets all that information and sends it to me, and I'm obsessed, that's all I can well, What's your name? My name is Allison, but I don't have any, I just... A-L-I-S-O-N? A-L-L-I-S-O-N. And your last name? Smith, S-M-I-T-H. That's easy. That, that's right, and it's real, I'm not making that up. It's real! <laughs> and she's going to give me a big organization. Oh, uh, Lorette Richmond and Long Island Bulldog Rescue is unbelievable. They take in the most amazing dogs, as you can see from looking at them. They're so beautiful. And anytime we can help these rescue animals find a home, I'm in. Well, you are totally devoted to this organization. How did you become aware of this foundation? Oh. Who, is, who told you about it? Well, years ago, Lorette Richen helped me rescue my American Bulldog from Animal Care and Control. She's become a dear friend. I love her to death, and I love what she does so much. So it's really a wonderful cause, and I just want to encourage everybody to open up their hearts and homes to rescue animals. What is so different and so special about the Bulldog? Can you tell my audience what, you know, what all that's all about? Animals, all rescue animals are very special, but the Bulldog is just very, there's just such a heart and soul about about them. They're unbelievable. Really special. And the face. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I want you to tell my audience where we could go to learn more information, where we could find out more, how we could support, participate, and contribute. Well, you have to obviously go to Long Island Bulldog Rescue. She has all the information on her website. She's unbelievable. And again, just literally open up your hearts and homes to a rescue animal. If you would, just especially holiday time is when they need a home. That's, believe it or not, when people can't afford and they give up things like their pets. It has been proven that during holiday time, so many pets are discarded because people have bills and expenses. And sadly, they can be left by the wayside. And we have to do the opposite. So we have to open up our hearts and homes to them. We'll be back in a moment, dollies. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Be champagne kisses. that breed into your family because what happens is Lorette ends up with the ones that people 
ends up getting rid of because they don't understand the breed. And Lorette is overwhelmed this year, and um, we are here to help her. They need money. There's that Sammy. I was just talking to Sammy's veterinarian. The poor thing is paralyzed from the back down, and the costs that this is going to—I mean—is going to be astronomical at the at the clinic. So let's just bond together. Let's raise awareness. Let's raise tons of money for Lorette. Let's all be heroes. Hi, I'm Beth Stern, and you're watching LongIsland.com. Darlings, I'm Cognac Bolivane, and I'm here with Beth Stern, who's hosting this fabulous event tonight. Beth, tell my audience why you are such a big supporter of the Bulldogs. Oh my gosh, but my husband and I had a Bulldog for nine years. She was the love of our lives. People, I think, so often go out and buy a Bulldog without really knowing what they're in for. And I mean that in the most beautiful way, but people really have to research the breed and know that they come with a lot of health issues. They're very high maintenance. They're very a specific breed. And I just want people to know and understand the breed before they go out and get one. And that's why, sadly, so many come to rescue, back to rescue. And Lorette and her team work so hard to find families They'll match perfectly with the right bulldog, but they really are a breed that people need to really understand before they bring into their lives. And I hope on some level that I am able to parlay that to people. Well, you do some such terrific work Thank you. with all the dogs and the charities and all the, I mean, I'm, I know you're a big supporter of so many organizations that are for, for animals and yeah. pro dogs and everything. You work so tirely. So do, do you ever get tired? I mean, how many organizations do you support? Well, I work with Long Island Bulldog Rescue and the North Shore Animal League America, as well as a lot of the wildlife rescue, Hamptons Wildlife. I just love supporting the rescues in my community and especially Long Island Bulldog Rescue. They're so near and dear to my heart and the work that they do is phenomenal. And they need the money, they need the funds and a night like tonight and the success is just so emotional for me because it's going to go to save more Bulldogs lives. Now, if we want to adopt a dog that needs to be rescued, and I'm sure you have adopted a dog that needs to be rescued, where can we go to adopt a dog? Well, you can go on to Long Island Bulldog Rescue and learn about the breed and get in touch with Lorette and her team and find a bulldog if that's the breed that you choose so that would be right for your family. Also, you Is that what you did? Did you go to the actual place where I they... was unaware of Bulldog Rescue when we got our dog. So I learned from having a bulldog and I started to meet so many people and I think we met through my veterinarian and I saw the work that Lorette was doing and that there there are breed specific rescues, which I didn't realize. If you want a bulldog, if you want a uh, Bernese Mountain Dog, I'm just throwing out names of purebreds. There are breed specific rescues, and instead of going to a pet store, go, go learn word of mouth or go online and see if there are rescues of that particular breed and check them out first. There's so many animals that need homes. You are so, you are so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Tell my audience, where can we go? What's the website? Um, Long Island uh, Bulldog Rescue. Just Google Long Island Bulldog Rescue. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy holidays. You look beautiful and red. Dogs. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.